Hi friends, welcome to Happy Cuisine. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, one of my favorite recipes which is the lamb biryani. So let's get started with the ingredients. This is 5 cups of rice, basmati rice. I've uh, soaked them in water for about 1 hour. 1.5 one pound of lamb cut into small cubes. Salt to taste. 8 green chilies slit in halves. Biryani masala. This is the freshly ground biryani masala that I've made. Uh, I have this video up in my channel so um, I can post a link to this one. This is food coloring. It's actually you can either get red or orange. This is Shah biryani masala. I normally use half of this uh, packet for this biryani. Finely chopped onions fried onions. I also have a video for how to make fried onions at home. Cilantro finely chopped, mint finely chopped, two to three tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of turmeric, three tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, about five cardamoms, one tablespoon of cumin seeds. First I'm going to get the rice prepped for the biryani. I'm going to add the rice into a rice cooker. This is, uh, this is five cups of water I've taken. It's one is to one. So basically if you take one cup of rice, then you have to add one cup of water. I've taken five cups of rice. So I'm going to add about five cups of water. Next, I'm going to add salt according to taste. Next, I'm going to add the cardamoms. Next, I'm adding in the cumin. Now, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil to this. So the oil is going to uh, make sure that the rice is not going to stick to one another. I'm going to mix this up to make sure that the salt is distributed evenly. And next I'm going to just let this cook in the cooker for until the rice is cooked. Now let's cook the lamb. I actually have my pressure cooker heated here. So I'm going to add some oil to this. Uh, this is about uh, 4 to 5 tablespoons. Once the oil is heated, now I'm going to add in the onions. Saute the onions until they turn golden brown. I'm going to add some salt to these onions so that the onions cook faster. It's going to ooze out the water quicker. The onions have browned a little. Now I'm going to add the green chilies to this. Stir these. Saute these for about a minute. Next add the turmeric. I'm going to stir this together. Next I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste. Saute this together and let this cook for another two to three minutes. Keep sauteing it. Now I'm going to add in the lamb. I'm going to stir all of this together. Mix this up well. Now I'm going to add the Shah Biryani Masala. You can get this at any Indian store. I'm going to add about half of this packet. 
So approximately adding half. I'm going to mix this up well. Make sure every piece is coated with the masala. Next I'm going to add in the chili powder. Mix this really well. Now I'm going to add in salt. Salt is according to your taste. The Shah Biryani Masala already has a little bit of salt in there so uh, make sure you um, add the right amount of salt because that uh, already adds a little bit of salt to your uh, curry. Next I'm going to add in some water to this. Now I'm going to close this and I'm going to let it cook for about up till 7 whistles. So the lamb has been uh, cooked in the pressure cooker and this is what it looks like once it's cooked. The rice has also been cooked so we can start layering now. Now I'm going to show you how to layer all of these uh, so that it goes into the baking oven. I'm going to be using a baking tray for this. You can even use an aluminium foil tray. First I'm going to put in the lamb curry here. This is going to be the very bottom layer. So make sure you spread this out well. Just to, yep. So I've saved some of the lamb curry to go on top on one other layering that I'm going to do. Next I'm going to add in the rice on top of this. So we're going to even this out a bit. I'm going to make sure that all of the lamb is covered with rice. So next I'm going to be adding in the biryani masala that I made. Uh, so like I said, there's a video for this one, how to make this fresh biryani masala. This is more like a little... Uh, so I'm going to sprinkle this all over the rice. We don't have to use all of this up, just make sure that it's all spread out all over the rice. Next I'm going to add in the fried onions. So I'm going to only use half of it because I'm going to do another layer with the onions. So for now I'm just going to spread these out. Add in cilantro. So I'm just going to top it off with cilantro. Just sprinkling the cilantro all over the rice. So that's good. Next I'm going to add the mint. Actually I have very little mint today but you can add more mint if you want to. So that looks good. Next, now I'm going to top this off again with the remaining lamb curry. This looks really good. Next, I'm going to add in the remaining uh, rice to this. I'm just breaking up the rice so that it's evenly spread out. This is really hot so. Next I'm going to add in the remaining fried onions as one of the layers now. The rest of the mint and the cilantro.
added about two pinches of uh, the food coloring to one fourth cup of water here so that's what it looks like now I'm gonna spread this over I'm just gonna pour this on top of the uh, the biryani the layered biryani here Next I'm going to show you a trick. Uh, normally what happens is when you put this for baking in the baking oven, it uh, the ends actually look very dried out. So one of the tricks to do to avoid that is to add a little bit of milk to the ends when this when before this goes into the baking oven. So I'm just I'm literally just like putting like very little amount of uh, milk to the ends. I'm just spreading this out. So you can see how I'm doing this. So now I'm done layering. Next I'm going to put an aluminium foil on top of this and cover this up well. I have preheated the oven at 400 degrees for up to 10 minutes. Now I'm going to place this in the baking oven and I'm going to bake it for up to 40 minutes. I have placed this in the baking oven. We are going to let it cook for up to 40 minutes. So the biryani is done. I have pulled this out of the baking oven. Let's take a look at it. Look at this. This looks so beautiful. I am going to mix this all together. Gently mix this. I can really smell the biryani. It smells really good. All the lamb pieces are very well cooked, They're very soft. Look at this, this looks so good. Lamb biryani is ready for tasting. I'm going to taste this one. Mm, this is so good. It's just melting in my mouth. So friends, you've seen how to make lamb biryani. Please give this recipe a try and let us know how you like it. If you do like it, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.